underwater communication is significant in areas such as underwater exploration, scientific data collection, maritime archaeology, and offshore oil field exploration. Currently, ultrasonic signals and radio waves are used for underwater communication. However, these methods have limitations such as high noise from reflections and high attenuation. In traditional UV LC systems, photodetectors are used at the receiving end to obtain higher data rates, while in this project, a camera-based receiver is used to improve the performance of the system. This project developed an underwater visible light communication system that uses an LED panel as the transmitter, water as a channel and camera as the receiver. A message was transmitted using various LED patterns through water and images obtained from the camera were used to decode the message. These images were pre-processed by removing high-frequency noise and by filtering large blobs by performing connected component analysis and the lighted LED bulb patterns were identified by using contour detection. Machine learning and image processing algorithms were used to identify the limitations. Uh, talking about the hardware implementation uh, in our communication system, we, uh, so we wanted to create the maximum uh, underwater environment uh, as maximum as possible. So that's why we have used a water tank, which is the highest dimension that we can uh, build. Uh, and also as the uh, uh, transmitter, so we have used a LED panel, which consists of 108 LEDs. Our initial plan was to use only 36 LEDs, which consists of uh, 6 by 6 uh, metrics. But considering the channel conditions, since we wanted to create more patterns as well, so we have uh, used 108 LEDs, which consists of 3 LEDs in one uh, point. Uh, so in one point, we have used 3 uh, color LEDs, uh, red, uh, green and blue. Uh, so red color is more tend to be transmitted for the long distance while turbid is present in the channel. And once the clear water is in the channel, uh, blue color is the uh, color that we can transmit for more distance. Since uh, red, green and blue are primary additive colors, in case that we want to increase, increase the intensity part point, we have used green color as well. Uh, so as the uh, receiver, we have used a web camera uh, to receive the uh, message uh, in our hardware setup. LED detection first we considered the limitations due to variations in the channel conditions. Then we searched for methodologies to identify the channel condition to successfully build up the communication system. Major limitations we identified in underwater visible light communication are various channel conditions, obstacles, reflections, and water bubbles. The turbidity condition of the channel was detected using machine learning techniques by identifying the features of turbidity which changes with the turbidity levels. The obstacles due to aquatic lives like plants and fish were also detected to overcome the limitations due to channel conditions. A special methodology was used to identify the water bubble condition in the channel using SSI value of the images. After identifying the channel conditions, we detected LED bar patterns eliminated from the transmitter by applying several image processing algorithms. Finally, the methodology was enhanced to successfully identify the bar patterns even in the limited conditions of the channel. We have uh, designed a graphical user interface using Python in order to use as a single tool to con uh, control the whole system manually and also take the uh, relevant information using that. So user can insert a message or symbol uh, using text and it is converted to big string using uh, ASCII code system. This ASCII code will be encoded using convolutional or block coding system. So user has the ability to ch uh, change whatever encoding system. Then it is getting mapped to the LED panel. After the LED uh, detection part, then it is demapped and uh, de decoded using the relevant uh, decoding system. Here we have implemented a feedback system. We have planted uh, four bulbs in the receiving end so that if a obstacle present uh, in the uh, relevant area of the LED panel, so the corresponding uh, bulb will light up and the camera in the sending end will catch it and uh, display in the GUI. So user can change uh, relevant pattern so that uh, user can uh, avoid the obstacle 
uh, and send the message since visible light communication could be used as a more accurate and cost effective solution for underwater communication this step is essential for the relevant fields and this is a valuable effort for finding an effective solution for underwater communication despite the enormous challenges that occurred due to covid-19 even though in a remote working environment we ensured this project is becoming a success